Pennsylvania Bowling Association brought to you by Hurry up you two, get that door open Ooh, We're trying boss But uh, yeah, but Craig's door opening gives him a woke break <laughs> Wonderful, another technical achievement Craig, this is Shredder what is it now, Shredder? Have you found the mutagen? No, we can't even get into Tropatron Labs. Your door opener won't work. If I had intelligent help, I wouldn't need such devices. Use your head! You heard him, Rocksteady. Use your head. Right, boss. Ow! Oh, I hope you remember this when you're thinking about my holiday bonus. Never mind that. Just go find that compound. Krang says this mutagen tracker will locate that muck creature. Yeah, he also said that door opener would open doors. Aha! We're picking up something. Follow me. PBA Bowling back in the air once again. We're live here with at Arlington, Texas. Stephanie Nation, representing the one-man nation of violence with Samoa Joe, up for the first shot of PBA bowling, live here in Arlington, Texas, home of Hank Hill from King of the Hill. This ought to be a great, great game of bowling today, folks. We're back in Texas, the Lone Star State, where one star doesn't stand alone, he makes money. Stephanie Nation, gonna definitely be showing why she's one nation under God in this one. Stephanie going for a 45. Oh, but this is the 135. Gets about a 125 and only gets about six pins down on that one. That's kind of a ripoff. Every bowler only gets one point for every shot thrown. So basically, if you get a strike, that you get one point. Keep bowling until all pins down, low score wins. What is this, golf? Are we playing mother effing golf here? This is bowling. This ain't golf. I don't care what those rules say. We're going by my rules, man. Oh, she got eight pins now. My bad. She picks up the spare. Great shot there by Nation. The Nation of Texas. Or state, I mean. What a statement. Actually, an incorrect statement. We got Kelly Kulik, who's too cool to lick. She's got two career PBA Women's Series titles. And she's home, hometown is Union, New Jersey. And uh, we all know how, the, how that town got its name. You know, they formed the first ever union in the United States. Duh, everybody knows that one. Kelly Kulik, gonna show off her skills here in PBA. Gonna show off her geometry angles. Women's Series Showdown. What better place to have a showdown than Texas? 45, right to all. Oh, about a 129.6 on that one. She missed p pin number 10 on the right side. Of course, pin number 10 is always on the right side. So, yep. Gonna see what she can do here to pick up the spare. She looks a little bit nervous. But since she's been doing aerobics, you can see the leg work on there. Bam! Picks up the spare. Good shot there by Kulik. Keeping it cool, Lick. So we got Stephanie Nation, Kelly Kulik, and the third woman that's balling on this matchup. As I believe it's a three-way matchup. Picking her ear over there, Michelle Feldman, who was born in Auburn, New York, famous for its Auburn trees. Man, she's really picking at her ear. I don't know what's up with that. She must not realize that she's on camera and that a lot of people are watching this game. I don't know. Maybe picking her ear is like a famous sign for her to like actually step up and... Be an awesome bowler. 45, right to a solid 135. Beautiful strike. Man, she's still picking her ear. She's either picking her ear or she's got some kind of headphone in her ear or something that she's listening to her coach or something. I don't know, man. I don't know what it is, but a 45, right to a 135. Beautiful strike there by Kelly. Or, I'm sorry, Michelle. Kelly was the last bowler. What is up with that ear thing? It's crazy. Yep, Michelle Feldman, number one, Kelly Kulik, number two, and Stephanie Nation, number two. Remember, this is golf rules, folks, so um, whoever gets the lowest point is, is going to win this game because of the golf rules. What a strike there. Beautiful 45-135 there by the Nation of Violence. 
Look, there's a funny story between these three women here. Kind of a history effect goes all the way back to high school. Hang on a second. Won 2009 PBA Women's World Championship to qualify for this series. Well, hell, if she won the World Championship for PBA, then she's damn sure qualified for this game. She's probably mouthing off in the camera, but fuck yeah, I'm qualified, bitch. Anyway, back to the hilarious story between these three women. These women used to go to the same high school together, and ironically, they had a feud over this one guy that they all wanted to date, take to the homecoming their senior year. Let's see, about a 45, oh, right to a 135. Great strike there by Kulik. So they all wanted to take this one guy to the high, to the high school prom, right? So what was crazy was this guy was so popular, the reason they wanted to take him was because they could just have instant popularity because, you know, none of these women were popular back in high school, especially her, Michelle. She wasn't very popular. So they, they uh, you know, tried their moves to take him to the high school. You know, Stephanie Nation, she took, oh, good... Nice uh, split shot there. An unusual split shot. I swear she's got a microphone to her. So anyway, back to the story. So they all tried unusual techniques at the time to try to get this guy to go on a date or take him to the prom. Stephanie Nation took, uh, I don't know the guy's name at the time, but took that one guy to a lingerie shop, a Victoria's Secret lingerie shop, to try to win him over. Michelle Feldman... Invited him to go four wheeling, and Kelly Kulik, well, she just simply wanted to take him to the store, you know, for a little home cooking, if you know what I mean. So, anyway, uh, long story short, uh, basically this guy kind of set himself up to go to the prom with all three of them, and uh, well, basically he had the most fun with Steph. No, oh, great spare there. He had, had a basically had a great time there with uh, Stephanie Nation because, you know, she's the nation, baby. And uh, the other two girls weren't happy about that. And Kelly Kulik tried to set up a bottle of poison. Yeah, she freaking filled up their wine glasses with poison. Pennsylvania Bowling Association brought to you by... Hey, phonies. Crazy Pretzel here, ready to give my Radius 2X sense. No offense to Radius 2X, it was awesome. About this sign here. At the top of it, it says, number one. Well, actually, it says, what is that? Property owners or guests in company of property owners only. Number one, that's not a complete sentence. Number two, so basically, they're, they're saying that uh, people that own the lake or uh, people that are guests of people that own the lake are only invited. So no one else can come into this lake. I disagree with that. Second rule, no dogs, bottles, cans, or campfires on beach. So... Theoretically, I'm allowed to bring my cat on the beach, and uh, if I can bring my cat on the beach, then how come this beach is allowed to have geese on this beach? That make no sense. This beach don't make no dollars either. Son of a beach. No alcoholic beverages on beach. I, you know what? Although this is a technically a man-made lake, I bet you the people that made this lake probably had beer and alcohol on this beach. So why can't we bring it? I don't know. Prejudice, I'm guessing. No fishing in beach area. Well, what if all the fish came over here and there was no other fishing throughout the whole lake? And besides that, when they first made this lake, there, but there were fish over here and people were probably still fishing it. No boats put in or taken out in beach area. Well, if you take a look around, there's no fucking place to even put a boat. What, do they expect someone to pick a boat up by hand and throw it in the beach? People ain't that fucking strong, man. No swimming after 9 p.m. Well, it's kind of dark outside, and there's no lights, so you can't really see what you're doing. Besides that, you might get attacked by a shark, because we all know sharks live in fresh water. Take own garbage out. Well, okay. Seeing as how there's no garbage cans around this place, I'm guessing that means, uh, throw it in the lake. Just like that one sitting there. So, really, these rules are brought to you by LLPOA, and, uh, oh yeah, there's no lifeguard on duty. Swim at your own risk, or die. Anyway, that's my uh, Radius 2X sense. No offense to Radius 2X. It was awesome on this uh, rules of the beach. Because this beach is not worth it. Thank you.